Then uh, there's some black eye bag cream. Put it under your eyes, just here. And then all your friends will think you're really, really depressed and take you out for frappuccinos. Oh, I love frappuccinos. Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Ari and Paul. This is Ari and Paul. I saw you coming. Tickle. Don't know what's going on. Let's go. Yeah, I'm actually rather busy leafing through this sports car magazine. Oh, right, sorry. It's just I've been told I must come in here by my friend Semelina Johnson. I think she told you about me. And you are? I'm Thicko. You're Thicko? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Interesting name. Yeah, it's not my real name. It's actually my nickname from school, and that just sort of stuck. An ironic <laughs> name, because you're so intelligent. No. no. Thick. Jolly good. Thicko, do you believe in fate, that everything happens for a reason? It's incredible, because I actually really do. So do I. I was reading an expensive sports car magazine, and along you came. Are you looking for anything in particular? Oh, I don't know. Anything, really. Just something to fill the empty hole. Are you feeling unloved? I bet. Husband yeah. snapping at you because you don't know who George Osborne is. That sort of thing, yeah. Uh, well, I might have just a thing for you, actually. <laughs> we are today keep a straight face. Oh, my God. Ari Enfield is a legend. Oh, my. This reminds me of the, the other one he did. Something wank. about. I think they're taking the piss of Notting Hill. Uh, at the beginning, so nothing over there. It's all these people like this, you know, that go in there. Ah, oh, I want something like this plant in Nottingham Hill probably costs about five thousand pounds. <laughs> and just a normal plant. So I'm getting the kind of value. You think they're taking the piss out of people in Nottingham Hill. This is really good. I love it. Um, it's a new range just come in called Weird and Needy. Wow. You know, if you shell out on this kind of stuff, then you'll be able to convince your silly friends that you're in some way interestingly damaged or otherly special, rather than a desperately reactionary conformist trapped in a tightly sealed Venn diagram of identikit overprivileged daddy's girls. Oh, brilliant. I love standing out from the crowd. You do realise you'll just be joining another crowd? Not really, no. I thought you probably didn't. So these are self-harm tattoos. You put them on your wrist and people will think you've tried to slash them. Oh, groovy. Then uh, there's some black eye bag cream. Put it under your eyes, just <laughs> here. And then all your friends will think you're really, really depressed and take you out for frappuccinos. Oh, I love frappuccinos. <laughs> frappuccinos. Oh, it's only Starbucks or something like that. Having brunch. Oh, Lord. This is good. They're taking the piss. They're taking the absolute piece. But the fact that there are people like this. this. This happens every day in London. This happens. This is normal. This is normal. Don't think this is a joke. And this is uh, eye redner. Basically, if you're at a dinner party, after the main course, go to the loo, put two drops in each eye, oh. they'll go bloodshot, and everyone will think you've puked your food up on purpose. Oh, they'll be so worried about me. Amazing. Oh, I'll take the lot. Right, that'll be uh, 270, 300, 400 pounds. Oh, no. <laughs> I've just remembered. I've just bought all these things from Rory over the road. Rory? He's got an amazing shop. It's Get out. What the fuck? What did I just watch? I, it was filling up at the end as well. Oh my! It's one of them ones that you can't do this today. I feel like we spoke about this in the comments earlier. This is not possible today. This was this was real, real proper comedy. I really love stuff like this, man. Just taking a piss. Ah, oh God, that was good. If you guys like that, please, please tell me more stuff that they've done. I love Ari Enfield, man. So, so funny. Especially when he's done stuff with uh, Paul Whitehouse. The last one I watched, the uh, one taking a piss off the Dutch, the Dutch policeman. That was so, so funny as well. But yeah, please, please make sure you guys keep commenting and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.